Ooh. Welcome to That's Good Broncos Live from Dub Valley. Well, it's not live. Hey everybody, welcome to That's Good Broncos from Dub Valley. Bringing you exclusive news, exclusive reporting before I go back into the studio. And today, I got the shot of Aqib Tlaib's bullet wound. It's a little weird that the bullet exited his leg and it looks just like the Under Armour logo. Was that intentional? I don't know, but I'm sure he's making a shit ton of money off of it. Could have been Nike, could have been Reebok. Adidas would have been a little bit tricky. Still, don't know how it came out Under Armour. That's good Broncos. Tlaib's return is great, but the biggest piece of significant news that is definitely significant that was released today was that Mark Sanchez and Trevor Simeon are exactly the same. The depth chart revealed that they are both number one QBs. Coach Kubiak was quoted after practice saying this, Yes, they are both the starters and haven't done anything to separate themselves. In fact, when I look at them, I'm not even sure which guy is Mark and which guy is Trevor. I just call them Simichez, which also happens to be my favorite thing to order at Taco Bell." End quote. I thought that the linebackers looked extremely tough and in peak football shape as I watched them blow up the one-man sled in warm-up drills. Oh, yeah. Get it! Hit it! Get it! Yes! Ugh. Ugh. Oh, so strong! But then, kicker Brandon McManus lit up the sled, and he might be the toughest guy on the team. Let's take a look. I'm gonna bust your gut open and watch you die! Very impressive. Not to be outdone, Britton Colquitt pointed at me. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool. I will say I admired the Broncos coaching staff for forcing the team to do drills that not only improve technique, but build team chemistry. Ready, set, hug your teammate, hug your teammate. Ready, set, hug your teammate, hug your teammate. Good job, boys. Keep on hugging, keep on winning. That's what they say. Champions say that. The other big surprise of the day was that Ronnie Hillman and Devontae Booker were both listed as the number two running back. They received the same slash treatment as Simeon and Sanchez. It wasn't a surprise that Booker was listed at the number two spot, but that Hillman was listed ahead of Capri Bibbs, who for all intents and purposes, has had a much better camp than Hillman. But then again, I was surprised when the Broncos brought Hillman back after he rushed for like zero yards in the playoffs and Super Bowl. I think the Broncos still believe in Hillman's future, who after playing in the NFL for four years is only 14 years old. He's young for a running back who's been in the league long enough to be considered a veteran. Hopefully, Bibbs gets his fair shot to make this roster because at this point he's working harder and playing better than Hillman and deserves that third spot on the depth chart. It should also be noted that defensive end Kenny Ananicki was waived by the Broncos because of his lingering knee problems. Former Broncos offensive lineman Tyler Columbus was allowed into the media area even though he didn't have a media pass like me. Eat it, Columbus. You need one of these to get in. Unless you want to come onto my show, then you don't have to eat it. Uh, unless I make us a snack while you're here. Fruit by the foot, high C punch, come do the show with me. Tyler will have a good time. I've heard you on the radio, you're pretty good. One last thing I want to address. There are a slew of women attending training camp that I call Manning Moms. They're all middle-aged and have a bunch of kids with them and wear Manning shirts or jerseys. And they are on the hunt for young men. It's a problem. Manning moms like to get down. And if one more of you asks me if I want to become a man in the Broncos issued porta potties while your kids are catching field goals, I'm gonna scream. First of all, I'm taken. Second, I'm already a, I'm already a fucking man. It's a problem. Joe Ellis, somebody needs to look into it. I feel like feel like I'm praying. Just pray for them there. 
Thanks for watching another episode of That's Good Broncos. Make sure you subscribe here. Give me a follow on Twitter. All of your Colorado sports updates are at bsndenver.com. Rockies, Broncos, Avalanche, Nuggets, Buffs, Rams, and my friends at the Mile High Report. Keep on, keep on, keeping on. I don't, I don't know why I said that last part. <laughs>